Guys, welcome back to Relaxed Running. Tyson Popplestone here. Now, we are so close to the start of the Tokyo Olympic Games, and one race in particular that I'm so excited to watch is the men's 1500 meters. Now, there are so many athletes that could win this thing, but there's a few in particular that I'm super excited about. So today, I'm gonna to walk you through the six athletes I'm most excited to see, or hopefully see, in the men's 1500 meters. Let's have a look. Now look, I've got to start close to home. We've got to start with the Aussie athletes. I've got to mention, we've got three athletes running. We've got Ollie Hort, we've got Jai Edwards, but the man I want to pay particular attention to is the great man, Stewie McSwain, or Stuart McSwain. Stewie is 26 years old. He's been on the Relax Running podcast a number of times. He's a friend of mine, and he's in some mighty fine Form. He recently won the Dream Mile in 3.48, which is a disgusting time for a mile. He's just broken the 3.30 barrier for 1,500 meters. He's recently run 7.28, and his form, his confidence is mighty fine. He's exciting because, first of all, he's Aussie, but second of all, he's the kind of runner who just runs with courage. He runs with bravery. You never see Stewie line up at a start line and think, oh, I wonder how this is going to go. The reason I like him besides his times is that I think his best chance, oh, here's the thing with a run like this, he's got to focus on making the 1500 meter final. If he can run the prelims, the semi-final really well, he lines up on that 1500 meter start line, absolutely anything can happen. I think his best chance to win it or to medal either slow or fast race is stick it to the guys with about 600 meters to go. I think he can be overrun in that last 150 by the sprinters, but I think with his ability just to wind it up a little bit like Al Garouge was back in the day, he's a hard man to match. I think anything is possible for Stuart McSwain, and he's certainly one to keep your eyes on, not only in this Olympic race, but far ahead into the future of world champs and Olympic games. So keep your eyes on Stewie McSwain. All right, the second athlete that we've got to look at is the former Olympic champ, or 2016 Olympic champ, Matthew Centrowitz. This guy is 32 years old. He's a US athlete, and he's had a recent return to form lately. There was a couple of years after his first Olympic title in Rio, that there was a few questions about how successful he was going to be, how competitive he was. It seemed as though he had lost a bit of desire just looking at his race results, but I think the Olympic Games has fired him up. He's recently finished second in the US uh, Olympic trials behind Cole Hocker, and he's starting to look really good. The reason I like him is he's one of those guys that you see him on a start line. He just knows how to race. It doesn't matter whether it's fast. It doesn't matter whether it's slow. He seems to be that kind of athlete. He's always in the perfect place at the perfect time. I think much like Stewie, if he can just get himself into that final, anything's possible with this guy because of his ability to maneuver in a race. Have a look at him, watch the way he runs. There's very few times you'll look at Matt Centrowitz and be like, oh, he's not in an ideal position. I think his best chance to win again is for a slow race and a fast kick home because of the fact that he's always in the right place at the right time and his ability to close a race in a fast pace is absolutely off the charts. So keep your eyes on Matt Centrowitz on the start line of the 1500. While we're in the US, let's have a look at young gun Cole Hocker. He's 20 years old. He recently won the US Olympic trials. He out sprinted Matt Centrowitz in the last 50 meters of the race. The reason I like this guy is because he seems to be able to get himself the line across the line first. I think the one thing we're going to have to watch out with Cole Hocker is there's a few times where he gets too caught up at the back of the pack or in a really rough space. I think in a race like the Olympic final, a guy like Cole Hocker is going to need a, he's going to need to be in the right place at the right time. I think if he can do it in the right race situation. Anything is possible for this guy. All right, the next athlete I want to mention is Mohamed Katia. He seems to have burst onto the scene recently. He's a beautiful technician. He's, uh, he's 23 years old, born in Morocco, living in Spain or representing Spain. This guy has put some times up this year which are absolutely terrifying. He's run 328 for 1500 meters. He's run 727 for 3000 meters. He smashed the 13 minute barrier for the 5K, and he's just shown that he's got the ability to race. He's always looking comfortable. His technique is beautiful. He's a very smooth mover. He seems to have established himself as a genuine Olympic gold medal hopeful going into these games. I think the reason he's so good is because he's got the endurance to go long and fast, but he's also got the ability to kick at home. You watch him in the Monaco 1500 meters just a few weeks ago, and his last 150 meters was 
incredible. I think, once again, if he can get himself to the final, he can run with confidence. The situation doesn't overawe him. He is one that I think is a real favorite for the Olympic title. All right, questionable that I've included Tim Chariot on the list, considering he hasn't actually qualified for the Olympic Games. I'm really crossing my fingers that the Athletics Kenya organization somehow get him on the team. He is the fastest runner in the world this year, and he makes every other name that I've mentioned look like they're not a genuine title. If this guy's on the start list, he is the favorite to win. He can run fast. He can run tactically. He loves to run from the front. He's 25 years old, so he's got that young, fresh legs. He's confident. Anytime you see this guy on a start line, you know it's going to be good. He ran 328 in the Monaco 1500 meter race. He outran all the athletes that I've mentioned to you today. It's going to be so disappointing if we can't see him on the 1500 meter start line. The reason he's not included in the team, if you're not sure, he was sick at the Kenyan trials. Kenya only takes the top three from the 1500. He finished fourth. Now, the three who beat him are bloody good. But I just don't think they're Tim Chariot. So if we can see him on the start line, this guy is my tip. I think he's going to win. But we've got to get him there first. Come on, Athletics Kenya. Please let him on the team. And lucky last is a personal favorite of mine based on form, based on consistency, based on ability. He's just an exciting guy to watch. His name is Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And he's coming at you from Norway. He's only 20 years old, which is absolutely ridiculous. But much like Matt Centruich, whenever this guy's on the line, he races well. He's got that youthful confidence. He's always in the right place at the right time. He can run fast. He can run tactically. I think the one thing that could potentially stop him is I just don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying he doesn't. I just don't know if he's got that top-end speed to match it with a guy like Centruich's over that last 100 meters. But the truth is, if he's running at a fast pace, if the race is fast, he's got a faster PB than a lot of these guys, so they might not be able to quite run with him. I think his best chance to win is in about a 3.30 pace race. He wants to wind it up from about 250 meters to go. He's run 3.28, he's run 12.48 for 5K, uh, for 5K, and he's a genuine chance to win this thing. I'm so excited to watch him. I think a lot of us are. But guys, in a video like this, truth is I can't cover every single favorite. These are just six athletes that I'm hopeful or excited about watching. So please let me know in the comments below who I've missed. If you want more from Relax Running, make sure you jump over to relaxrunning.com. For technique analysis, training programs, I'm working with athletes of all levels to help them transform the way they run. But in the meantime, continue that conversation in the comments below. Let us know who you're excited about watching and why. Guys, make sure to subscribe. We've got new videos coming out every week. Don't want you to miss them. In the meantime, let's talk below, and I'll see you all in a few days.